video from your buddy, Mark Loftus. Here we go. Ah, uh, hi, Mark Loftus again. Ow. I am uh, looking forward to you seeing, if you haven't already, the um, Bending the Universe episode. Yeah, this is the teaser episode, my, my lead-ins to the uh, episodes that are on the uh, main page of the whole Empower Network blog that we're all connected to. I've mentioned that before, but I want to drive this point home. If you're in Empower Network, their blog is your blog. And your blog, they don't care what you do with it. As long as you don't, you don't do any, you know, naughty stuff. Bending the universe. Well, let's get right to it. Here's a clip. I, I've seen the craziest things ever happen to people when people believe in a single message and act like nothing else exists. It's like the universe bends. I was talking about the other day for like an hour. Yeah. Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, the, the most unbelievable shit happens all the time. You know, um, I have a... Uh, Favorite quote I think ties into this. We see the world not as it is, but as we are. Aren't we all bending our universe? It's from our perspective. You know, it, it, uh, I also have another quote. Uh, who said this? Ken Keyes Jr., I think. Uh, I think he was quoting a. I read somewhere the same quote. It was of some French guy. Doesn't matter. The quote, the quote is this. When you take offense. You add just as much suffering to the world as when you give offense. Yeah, I'm paraphrasing, but that's it. Taking offense, you're adding suffering. <laughs> Not giving offense or giving offense, well, you know, some people are offended by Dave Wood and Dave Sharp and the whole Empower Network idea. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. Ah. Oh my gosh, well, I won't let those bad thoughts about the power network bend my universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, let me uh, bend it back, back to some, some sort of video. video. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I've, I've lost my train. What? Let's just go to another clip. Clip. It's about these people. It's about the people who are just getting started. The people who need a little help dreaming right now. You see, Empower Network is all about not believing in the Daves, like they're some sort of cult leaders. That, wait, for the record, move in. Empower Network is not a cult. It has its culture, but it is not a cult. Because cult, you're... In a cult, you surrender yourself. In a way, you, if you're surrendering to anybody, it's to your to your better self. Yeah, all the BS that you have in your head, all the mental mind parasites that uh, all the all the stinking thinking. You know, you don't need that. You don't need that. You can bend the universe. You can by simply seeing things that are already there. You can bring potentialities into, I don't know, manifestation. I don't know. I don't. That sounds so, so woo woo. But I, okay, you know when you're. Uh, here's an example. I remember when I uh, uh, about ten years ago I was driving a, a Ford Taurus, turned a corner real quick somewhere, lost its hubcap. I couldn't find it. Then I just felt, oh gosh, I'm driving around with a car. It only has three hubcaps. You know what I kept seeing after that, which I'd never really noticed before, is, oh, oh that car is missing a hubcap too. Oh, that one's missing a hubcap too. Actually, you you tend to see what you're looking for or what's preoccupying you. Why not preoccupy yourself with seeing yourself prospering and helping people? You can take the reins. You can take the reins. What, what's this? There an echo. Universe spending again. My God. Let's go to another clip. 
I talk about it, I talk about it, I talk about it, and a few people start doing it, then they're all reproducing results. Now, some people are in and out, they do it, and then they're like, I'm going to try something else, and they stop doing it. But the people that keep doing that, their income just keeps going up. I tell you what, you really need to just see the whole thing. My little teaser business is just to whet your appetite to go see the whole thing. Click the yellow button, and until next time, this is Mark Loftus reminding you to keep your heart and your head together. All right. Love you.